Hello Miles Mustangs! Well, it's Carolyn back with yet another project for Island Day. So you can see in this particular picture we are honoring the islands by drawing a beautiful parrot. You know, when we think about islands there's water, so there's fish, there's um, palm trees, so that means there's often exotic birds. So what we're going to do in this lesson today is learn how to draw this wonderful bird. So I'm going to just put my little bird over to the side here. The materials that you need for this project are, of course, as always, some paper, uh, an eraser probably would be a good thing, a pencil, pencil and eraser, um, I'm using my handy dandy washable markers and I'm also going to use just one of these twistables which I love. I think I just used the blue one so I'm going to use this blue guy. This was the blue guy for the background. So as always folks you can use whatever you have at home. There are no rules about this so if you've got crayons or colored pencils or even paint go ahead and use those. Let's see, so what we're going to do for this project is a little different. Um, I'm going to show you the steps and I'm going to be using a red marker to outline the drawing steps as they unfold. So let me put my little friend off to the side for now. So step one on my piece of paper is we're going to draw the body and the head of the bird. And I want you to notice that in on this piece of paper I actually have in pencil made a very light uh, cross and I made this cross in the rectangle just as a way to help guide me about where to put my shapes. So what shapes do you see? I think that these shapes look, I'm going to turn it sideways, kind of like a big tear and then a piece of an oval. So I'm going to head and I'm going to just draw those so that you can see what we're doing here. The first shape would be this large um, kind of tear shape. So I'm going to just do it in red. Notice it touches the edge of the paper and I'm just going to make a big old tear shape that actually crosses the middle. We, can, we know the middle because the middle is this cross line here. So I've made a nice big uh, tear shape, that's going to be the body. And on top of that body, I'm going to make kind of like um, a sideways oval that connects down to my body. So this is the head, this is the body, right? All right, so that's step one, head and body. Step two for this project, now that we've got head and body, is we're going to add this branch. So I'm going to go ahead and do my body. So here's my body that you just did. And you could draw right along with me if you had your stuff already. You might want to watch this video all the way through once and then get your materials and do it together. So there's my head and my body again. And now I'm going to just add kind of a curved line. And I'm going to mirror that curved line again. And this is the branch. So we've got the bird kind of perching on a branch. That's step two. Step three. We're gonna add the tail. There's the tail down there. So I'm gonna just go through the steps again. The first thing would be to draw your body. The second thing would be to draw the head. The third thing to, would be to draw your branch. Make it nice and wide. And for step three, we're going to simply add um, some diagonal lines. One, two, three, that are going to serve our drawing like the tail. So that's step three. Okay, how are we doing? Step four. Step four, we're going to add the beak. We're going to put this guy's beak in. All right, so. You've got a head. You've got a body. By the way, 
you're drawing in pencil, my drawing is in Sharpie lines, but you can erase some of your guidelines later with your pencil if you want. And of course, as you're drawing along, if you're not happy with your lines, you're drawing with pencil, so just erase them and try again. Alright, so now to do the beak, we're going to make a shape that starts with a little curve and comes to a point and then it almost looks like an S, doesn't it guys? So, we've got a little beak. This is step four. We've added our beak. Step five, coming right along. Here comes the eye. We're going to add the eye to our friend. So, I'm going to put in the head. We're going to put in the beak that we just did. I think I won't do the body and all that stuff. To make the eye, you're just going to make a U shape. I'm going to turn that around so you can see. It's just a U that connects to the beak, and it's got two circles inside. So, that's our guy's head with his beak and his eye. A U shape first and two circles. Step five. Step six. Okay, step six is add the wings. Alright, so this time I think I'll just put the wings in. We already did the eye and the beak and the branch and all that stuff. We're going to add the wings. So this wing shape is kind of like an egg, except it's got a little point. So that's your egg wing. And then this wing that's underneath the first wing is, um, again, it's kind of like a pointy U. Right, guys? And it connects to the first wing. So those are the shapes for step number six. Ooh, now we're starting to have some fun here. Step number seven. We're going to add in step number seven some feathers and a claw. So here we go. Inside the oval of the ring, let's just make some, um, they're kind of like scoopy lines. They're like little ocean wave lines. There they are. So that's our feathers. I'm going to make three lines of them. We've got feathers inside that wing. This wing, we're just going to make some lines that all connect down at the bottom together. Notice these lines all connect down to the bottom in one point. All right, so this is a wing with feathers. This is a wing with feathers. We're also going to add some feathers up to the top of his head. Now, if you drew with pencil, you can actually erase this line if you want to. And last, let's put in the claws. So the claws basically are two little kind of scoopy, pointy lines that look like the bird is grabbing onto the branch. All right, so this step number seven, feathers here, lines for feathers here, feathers at the top of the head, and claws. Step eight, we are getting closer to the end, guys. Here's step eight, here's our guy, and in step eight, we're going to add the leaves in the background. So I'm going to just go over the leaves with red, and notice that my leaves have a line in the middle, and they touched all the way to the bottom, in this case. So I'm making some nice kind of oval shapes with a little point, and I'm just going to divide them. You can put your leaves wherever you like, guys. As always, I want to see your creativity and your imagination. You don't have to do yours just like mine. I always do these projects just to get you started. And I can't wait to see what you guys do. So there's some of my leaves. I'm going to put a couple of leaves up in the corner. Because, you know, in the jungle, leaves are popping out of absolutely everywhere. So you want to put a bunch of leaves in your background. And you could make leaves any shape you want. Those of you who um, have access to mom's phone or a computer, you could certainly look up some real jungle leaves and maybe put some different kind of shapes back there if you want. So that's step eight for adding the leaves. And then step nine is just color your beautiful bird in. Now what I did for my project is I used two colors in some of my shapes, like here in the leaves. This background was actually colored with this 
twistable colored pencil and all the rest is done with marker but if you look carefully you'll notice that there are two colors in the body I did um, a medium green and a yellow here the head I used a dark green and a yellow so and even in the beak I used a yellow and an orange around the outside so there are no rules about how to color if you make your beautiful bird um, any way you like is the direction for coloring you can put a purple sky you can make your bird red and black you know there's a million different birds in the world and I want to see your imagination so I'm gonna go ahead and lay these steps out on the table this is the last step and see if we can actually get a look at everybody so one two three so that's nine eight seven six five four three two one I'm going to move the camera so you can see everybody all together. There they are. All the steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, this project came from a wonderful, wonderful website called artprojectsforkids.org. The woman's name is Kathy, who I've basically springboarded the project from. So parents, if you want to do some more drawing projects like this, look for artprojectsforkids.org. The woman's name is Kathy. All right, guys. Happy Island Day. Here's our beautiful parrot all ready for Island Day next week. Have a lovely weekend. Miss you. Bye-bye.